Since then, everyone, welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile, Harbinger League 3.0. We are currently sitting in Act 8. Uh, last time around, we fought uh, Deodre, and he was actually a pretty tough boss. I'm hoping that we have no more of those bullshit fights, but I suspect we will. Still a lot of quests we have to do in Act 8, and then, you know, Act 9, Act 10. Still a lot to do, but I'm excited to play. Let me unmute Kevin now, so we can actually get into the Discord. Um, but yeah, hey, so you're in Act 10, right? You're almost on Act 10? I, I'm, I decided yeah. not to finish Act 10. Oh, uh, okay. So I need I need to do a lot of quests. Um, I took out my unique uh, axe that converted all my damage to elemental. And now I'm just double fancy foiling it. Um, it should be okay. Uh, damage seems to be okay. And uh, hopefully, you know, dual wielding isn't going to be a bad decision. Some people have actually suggested um, w trying out uh, sort of two-handed weapons. With charge dash, um, I mean Mathel's doing it right now, and it seems to be pretty good. But he's using that uh, unique axe, which has like a lot of elemental damage scaling. I think that's why it's working. Um, maybe we can try something like that, but not exactly. Uh, we're gonna have to see though. For now, I'm really liking the dual wielding, just based on the fact that you know it's giving us uh, a pretty big uh, attack speed multiplier. Um, and I kind of enjoy that. I'm kind of confused. Where the heck do we go? I mean, we... here? Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, how, how are you guys doing? Uh, it's the weekend, so the plan is to try and play as much as I can. Weekend. Yo, it's man. Friday. It's Friday. Friday. I'm gonna try and play a bit today, tonight. Uh, I'm gonna try and play a bit tomorrow morning. And then probably next time we're gonna go is like... Tuesday. I wanted to stream on Monday, but unfortunately, I'm a little busy, um, so I won't be able to. Swarming rats? What is this? The feral fowl. New mobs. These are like you know, the guys from the Candyman. I still send people man. that uh, Friday song. Huh? Why? Um, I still send people the Friday song when it's Friday. Why? Didn't because didn't like a coworker do that to you? No, no, no. I, I think I I that was. Oh really? Yeah. That's pretty annoying, actually. They have it. They have it blocked at my workplace, though. So you, even if you sent it to me, I couldn't watch it. YouTube's blocked at your workplace. Yeah. Oh yes. man, fighting Malagaro, Chevron, and Doiger powered up was amazing, and no spoiler in intended. Next acts have some really intense boss fights. I'm looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I don't think we're nine? all that strong. No, I'm in Act Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Act. Yeah. That that fight was actually pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty excited. Definitely. Like, I don't think our character is that good yet. And like, there's something weird about Charge Dash. I don't understand the skill. Kev, you know Charge Dash at level one? Yeah. It does 99.6% base damage. Yeah. Okay. At level 20, it does 100% base damage. What? How yeah. does it scale? I don't know. I Why don't think you... it does. I don't understand. What's the point of leveling this thing? I feel yeah, like it's a you... bug, but maybe maybe it does more explosions in between? Like, maybe it doesn't... But it doesn't say anything on the gem. It's so confusing. Maybe. Expect plenty of deaths? Oh, man. You guys are, like, hyping me up. Like, I don't, I don't know what to expect, to be honest. It, it sounds like it's going to be an epic fight. I have died a few times in the few acts that I've played. I died to six deaths. Uh, I was like, I get one death per act. Yeah, I've died four much. times. So five, six, seven, eight. I've died four times. Alright, so by the time you get to act 10, you'll catch up with me. Pretty much. Um, I'm trying to buy Chaos. Buy so chaos. Can buy a six socket. Okay. Excuse me. For what? I need some chaos to buy a six socket sire of shards. Oh. Yeah. I see now. That's uh. It's taking a while. Well. I'm sure you'll get it soon. 
I installed the PoE trade macro so I can play with it. I'm like, I should start oh, yeah. thinking about, you know, selling stuff. No, there's still a quest here. I can't leave yet. Where is it though? I mean, clearing packs, charge dash is really good. I don't, I don't know why my single target isn't as good. I feel like it should be better. I know, but it's like. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Like, look at that. Yeah, my single target is not good either. It's not amazing. I'm quite sure charge dash is better than storm burst, though. Hey, that's not true. I'm just saying. What's, what's going on out there? Uh, Wendy's touching me with her feet. I see. <laughs> well, mm. would you would you do today? Yeah. Well, I sent my mom off to the airport, so I'm Are here alone now. Your brother's gone too. Right. My brother's gone too, so I hung out with Derek. Okay. Went to his friend's place. His friend made pho pho for us. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, he's being being me. So anything related to food, I'm just like, yeah, it's good shit. And then we watched many episodes of Dancing with the Stars, or no? Yes, what? we watched some Dancing with the Stars. No, he actually watched that. No, we watched So You Think You Can Dance. Oh, sorry, So You, can, wow. you Think You Can Dance. Okay, what's the difference like between So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing the with the Stars? Box. Like, just stars in like general. Yeah. Washed, washed up celebrities. Dance so You Think You Can Dance is like dance. actually oh. new people. So people who are... So, so are any of these like trained dancers okay. or... Like, you missed the most ridiculous, crazy eye like, judge. She, okay, okay, so what's their name? I, I don't, I don't know, but like, so basically, there's like ten, or like ex winners, I guess. I don't know. They're like ten like, superstars yeah, yeah, yeah. dancers, and then they're just going through people and deciding who they want to be on the team. Oh. So everyone has a team of four, and then they eventually narrow it down to the team of three. So the the group dance as a group of four, yeah. and they decide who this one. This guy was like being the team vote off. I'm trying to listen to him, but. Is it quiet? Then, no, it's it's fine. Sudden, it's fine. Crazy judge from the end. Is that, wait, it's yeah. just yeah. when Derek describes it, it's like. <laughs> okay. It's, and now it's weird. Two people on my team. I'm like, what? You just, you Derek, just, like, you're describing this on on screen. Oh whatever. Okay. You just like randomly like decided that like I want you. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of those two people I chose. Cause whatever. <laughs> And then, like, eventually, like, it got narrowed down where... Like, anyone on stream actually understand what he's saying, because I don't. I guess I understood it, because, uh... So because I was there. Right? Yeah. And okay, was it as ridiculous as, he, as he's describing like, it to be? To yeah, the girl's actually kind of crazy. And it just yeah. looks like, just feels like... Yeah. Oh, Gemling Legionnaires in the Grain Gate. Isn't this the warehouse, and, like, though? She's just so crazy. Yeah, what I know. I was confused. Quest? Like, it was kind of Some like, of them are not. And, like, Whoa, what the yeah. fuck is this? Okay, there, so when there was a team of three, dude, that guy was on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He basically said it's Zuko, you were the firebender. This yeah. one's this Fire one's the ice, the water bender. This one yeah. is also a firebender. What's going on? He's like, you, I didn't. I want the skill though, like from whatever it is. Show, and I'm upset with you. The third guy. All right, we got him. Official yeah, orders. So oh wow. Through this program. I just got to I'm gonna get kicked out, out of the server. She, she what? I just got kicked out of the, out of the server. Too. I was like, she has I no see. logic to her. Yeah, I, I haven't, I've never seen that bad page. I was like, screw this. I can't. Well, that would only slow me down. All right, Kev. I think I have to mute you. Some good dancing. Okay. All right. Hit me. Derek's very loud. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. I think we need a little bit of uh, just silence, maybe. Um, I mean, it's uh, sometimes it's nice to just play in the in, 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 like while it's quiet, you know. I've gotten I've gotten to a stage where it's like any amount of noise just bothers me. 
like I can't study with noise. I can't. I know a lot of people listen to music and study, and I used to do that. But these days, if I just like hear a lot of stuff while I'm playing, it just distracts me so much. So yeah, uh, we just finished the gem link. That was actually yes, a really, really cool fight. Um, like, what a odd fight. Like, what are those skills they used? I think one was like a glacial cascade, but it looked a lot cooler than glacial cascade. And then the other one is like a weird, like a molten fall, molten strike. Ma what was that? Magma, magma, magma orb. But it doesn't bounce, so I'm like really confused. Um, but uh, I mean, I guess it's nice that they're reusing these tile sets. Uh, if you guys remember, like the warehouse district. Prior to 3.0, it was actually like a real district or like a like an area, and now with 3.0, they've removed the warehouse district. Instead, they've moved it over here. So at least they're reusing assets, and uh, like they said, you know, oh, five new acts or well, no, six new acts, I suppose. Um, but obviously, you know, they have to reuse some of these tile sets just due to the fact that doing it, like doing all this in what four to eight months is probably. Would have been a lot harder if they were like making six new acts of tile sets, right? So I'm actually okay with this. And because they like changed the way they designed it, like just you know the darkness and you know the different roads, the different monsters here, it does feel like a new area. It doesn't feel like I'm in the same in the same place. Like what is this place? The Imperial Fields. Like I, I feel like I've never seen this. This is supposed to be Act Three. I don't even know what this is supposed to be like a an example of. I just very confused. Poor corrupted creature. Like would this be marketplace? Catacombs? Like this feels like a new area. I don't even know what map it is actually. You can kind of see charge dash is pretty good with clear speed um not only due to the fact that you know we one or two shot them but once we do kill them we get to keep going right it's like a movement skill so um are they so it's like if it's a movement skill it's oh is what is this effigy of fear what rain of chaos this feels like that Act 2 area. Crossroads, but it's not. I know that much. I wish I was doing more damage to him. I wonder how many times I'm actually hitting him. Where is he? Where are you? Is he dead? Like, we're killing these blue skeletons in one shot. That's pretty impressive. Why am I saying single target is bad? I guess it's not all bad. Whoa! The Valkyrie, Nemesis item. Yo, chance at a headhunter right there. How much is this thing worth? No. Come on, trade macro. Show me something. Four chaos? That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. I know the time clasp isn't worth much, um, but I could definitely try and sell this. And how many of them are sold for four chaos? Four C, four C, four C, five C, five C, five C, five C. Okay, so four to five C. I don't really want to undercut. But putting it 5C doesn't seem like a great idea either, so maybe we'll just try and sell it for 4C later. Okay, let's look at items once we get back to town. So yeah, like, we don't have that many damage nodes on the tree. I'm really focusing on life right now, just because I'm finding that survivability is a little bit of a sore spot. Um, I should be looking at getting more leech as well, but just having that right amount of base HP is really important. Uh, especially for an evasion character because, you know, like, you can kind of imagine with evasion characters, if you don't evade, you kind of, and like, it's a big hit, you will die, right? 
So you want to have a big enough HP buffer so that if you do take that one hit, you have enough time to react, uh, whether that's by popping your flasks or spamming your skills in order to uh, uh, in order to leech everything back. Like you need to do something. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, that requires like a you know minimum amount Lost of base away. HP. So let's see. Wow, this is an interesting axe. It's decently fast. I'll need to toughen up for that one. But I'm too weak for it, huh? Everything else is kind of whatever. Pretty happy about the card though. Let's sell it for for chaos and hopefully somebody bites. So for the, for those of you who don't know, um basically if you have premium stash tabs, that allows you to create uh, shops. So if you right click it, um, you can set the tab to public. So if I turn off public, turn on public, and then you have an option of pricing your items individually or you set the same price on all items. So these are the buyout one, two, three, four tabs. And over here is the general shop where you can just put in an item, right click it, and just set a price, you know, to chaos or whatever. Like how much is a time clasp? This is a pretty low roll actually. It's one elk, so I, I really don't care about selling it. If it's above a chaos, I might consider it, but for an elk, it's actually pretty hard to find someone willing to buy it. So that's basically the issue that I have. Okay, this one gives me damage, armor, and strength. Oh, no, I'm not ready to level just yet. Shoot, I was hoping to equip this. But is it actually better? 30, 71, 19. I don't think it is the better than any of my stuff. I mean, it has more minimum damage and it's physical, but it's slower. It's comparable. What do you have here? Oh, skill point. I can actually test this now. Path of the warrior. So that gives me more physical damage. If I equip this, what? Oh, I lose strength. Well, I don't think it's better. Here, let's test it this way. Yeah, we'll never know. It's okay, let's sell it. How about any of this other stuff? Uh, no, not really. Okay, let's get back into it. I just want to farm, you know? Oops. These days, honestly, I've been just watching a lot of streams. Like, if I'm not playing PoE, I'm watching PoE. And it's just like, all these new players, it's it's getting me hyped up, man. Like, people playing all these new builds. Like, people who just rarely play Path of Exile playing again. It's kind of interesting to see how they react to the game. They're like, huh. It, I feel like like a proud father seeing you know like seeing everyone accept my game seeing everyone playing it it's like seeing your child go to college you know not that I have a child or anything but it's like I don't know it's like it's like a cool feeling to know that like people like your game <laughs> I mean like for me I played this game for so many years and for years like there's been problems with this game you know desync issues like all these archaic ways of playing ARPGs. But there are also so many like elements of Path of Exile that's like, it's good, nobody else has even thought of it, right? Like, um, you know, including the gem system in Path of Exile, the way we craft using all of these currencies, like that's what drew me into this game. And yet a lot of people were like, uh, no, that's like stupid. There's too much RNG in this game, it's so random. But that's what makes this game like fun and rewarding at the same time because there's like always something to improve. There's always something to work on, you know. And I think with 3.0, because of uh, all the things that GGG has done, they made the game a lot more accessible. Um, and now it's like, you know, it's it's gaining gaining a lot more acceptance because people are making it to the end game. People are making it halfway through the game, you know, versus. You know, you, you get to Act 4 and you just quit the game because, like, I beat the game, right? Now you're like, well, I'm at Act 4 and I'm not even halfway done. I still need to get to Act 10. So it's just a lot more accessible to new players. And I feel like you can kind of tell the community is getting bigger, which obviously is the start of the league. Um, so that's a given. Like, a lot of people are going to be playing right now. 
but it's just it's kind of cool you know year after year poe has been getting better and i feel like this is like the best iteration yet it just makes me so happy man all right what are we we're back in the solaris temple hold on So, is Act 8 basically Solaris and Lunaris are du dueling it out? Or duking it out? Does this have anything to do with... Search the Solaris, Solaris Temple for the Sun Orb and use it to summon Solaris herself. Search the Lunaris Temple for the Moon Orb and use it to summon Lunaris herself. Solaris and Lunaris was also a fun fight. Do I... Yo, yo, Kev, do I have to actually pick between Solaris and Lunaris? Or can I just do any one of them first? Or can any of you guys answer that? Well, you have to fight both. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It's not like bandits where I can only do one, right? Doesn't matter? Okay. Okay, cool. That's what I was a little concerned about because it sounded like there was a choice. Okay, so let's just get through uh, Team Blue Ribbons all the way, though. I don't know, man. Team Red Ribbons seem pretty cool. Team Blue Ribbons is where Piety is at. Team Red Ribbon is where Di Diala is at. Okay, think about it that way. Diala is definitely cooler than Lunaris. Or Lunaris Temple. Solaris Temple was cooler than Lunaris Temple, that's for sure. I wonder if they had this idea right from the beginning. I mean, the way they named it, there was like already some lore behind it. Whoa, the waypoint is so close. What the hell? I expected to run through Solaris, kind of like how you had to like blast through it the first time around. I expected to be running around for a long time, but apparently not. These ribbons are actually really cool. These assault ribbons. They shoot like weird lasers. I wonder if you can like turn them into a specter and use like GMP. That'd be pretty cool. Alright. So the one problem with charge dash is if you don't have enough AoE, you kind of just uh, like there are mobs that you miss when you dash through them. Which is, it could be a problem. Um, man, how do I get more damage though? Let's do that. There we go. But hopefully as you get, you know, more used to the skill. Or as I get used more used to the skill, it won't be a problem for us anymore. Kev, I went to the gym today. The guy made me run laps. Oh, away. They, uh... Basically... Oh, is he still there? So for Can those you of hear me? For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I was on mute. So there were too many people, so they couldn't... So basically, for those of you who don't know, I go to like this this uh, fitness class or whatever. And uh, the way it works is you do like 15 minutes of circuit exercise. And then there's a there's sort of like a bonus exercise or something. Um, where you have to do like burpees or jump squats. Something to get your heart rate up. And because so many people went to the class today, they didn't have enough space to do it inside the gym. So we skipped our second bonus exercise. And on the third one, he's like, well, we still have some time. So just go run laps. And it made me run a lap. Wait, I just, where? Where is there a space to do a lap outside? Outside, like you run out to the main street and you run in a lap. You run to the Timmy's. Then you run to, you know, the bus stop. Then you run over to the bridge. 
And he ran back. I can't believe there were that many people. There were so many people, dude. I heard you're gonna bring a uh, fiance to a class on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try. I don't know if she's willing to do it. Sounds like a bad idea. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. I don't know. But you know, the first class is free. Yo, it's actually kind of fun to fight in Solaris Temple because all these guys are like the ribbons are super squishy. So you get to like just like blast a bunch of them. Uh, the new big fire ribbons are actually kind of scary. Really? I resist sort of cat back then. I resist sort of not cat back then. Oh well, that would explain it. I've been focusing a little bit more on my resists because uh, it's starting to concern me a little. Sacred chambers of venom. So that's what I've been focusing on for the last few levels. HP and resists. After that Doidri fight, I'm like, I need... I can't do this anymore. Just living on the edge Wait, like this. Did you die on Doidri? I did! She put too many stacks of, I think, green? No, she killed me with red. red. She killed me with red. Red is a bitch. Yeah. Blue is also a bitch if you get like a lot of stacks on you. Yeah. So yeah, that's how she, that's how she got me. Ooh. Oh, these two boots are very similar, and this one doesn't have life, so I can't take that. Yo, they said the Baron is worth a lot this league. Like I'm a sure lot. It is. My gear is so shit that like here's my helmet. That's the best helm I can find. What? Are you sure? I'm sure you can make a better one. Just essence craft it. The mana helps. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I believe it. Oh man, I actually thought I was in the progression zone. I'm like, what the fuck is this veil vessel doing here? Then I realized I was in a veil zone. That would only Yo, I was so busy at work today. Some guy was like, "Hey, uh, hey, Amnix, I have uh, I have some extra like snacks left. There were like cookies and like meat sticks and shit." He's like, "You want to have some?" And I'm like, "No, nah, I already had lunch." And he's like, "Oh, where'd you go for lunch?" And I'm like, "Shoot, why can't I remember?" And I realized I haven't had lunch yet. So fucking busy today. At your service. Why? It's a Friday. Someone like fucked up my uh. My my application or my server. Invite to party. This guy wants the Valkyrie for four chaos. Hey, this is probably our first sale. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Valkyrie, Fey of four chaos. Thank you. All right. Sweet. That was pretty quick. We managed to make the sale within this episode too. Yep. Wait, Valkyrie's four chaos. Yeah. The card. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, might I be like. Have one. Sorry, salt. Did you underprice it? Day in Maybe. I hope I don't get mass whispers now. I just got two whispers in a row. I I'm quite sure PoE trade is like a little, uh, a little behind. So that is a problem, but. God bless you, exile. Hopefully, I don't get massive whispers. I mean, I saw a few that were on sale for four chaos. All right, I guess and then I'll like a bunch mine. that were on sale for five chaos. So I was like, okay, well maybe, I'll just put it as four and hopefully I get a sale. It's been what 20, 20 minutes or so. You want to buy mine for four chaos? I'll buy it for three and a half and resell it for four. <laughs> Currency flipper. Damn, dude. I'm hoping to sell mine. I need to liquidate some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I want to buy a three, a five link. 
You know how Hargan had that quest where he's like, Oh, I want a bot. I want you to find like a... Uh, what was it? That item that I'm going to try and sell to the Karui or something? Like that, that statue yeah. or whatever? I was just looking at that and I'm like, Yo, Hargan's like a dirty currency flipper. That's right. Right? Yep. Curtis is like, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm like, I mean, yeah. I'm just memeing it up. Just, it's Curtis just being a dirty currency flipper. Yeah, the curse. That means he's a dirty currency flipper. <laughs> I don't think he is, though. It's like, I take offense to that. <laughs> Yo, there are so many... Uh, so many waypoints that got destroyed, eh? Yeah, I know. Weird. What is this? Where's Diala? Hey, did Diala die? She didn't. Uh, First castle not sure, of Dura, actually. 13, There's a body in nice. Act. Uh, Pretty what a rat porcelain, that is. But her mouth act four spins visited. like the potter's wheel. Yeah. Yeah, just up the top where Diala used to be. So I don't know whose body that is. Hmm. Who the fuck are you? Dawn Harbinger of Solaris. What the fuck is that? Have fun. That was also a pretty interesting fight. Oh. Scorching Ray? Okay, burning ground of some sort. What is that? Blast? What the fuck? This is kind of cool. Oh. Alright, let's see. Let's see how much damage I can I can lay on this guy. I mean, we're kind of hitting him. Are we killing him though? That's the real question. Oh, gotta leech through that damage. Oh, is that it? Yo, I, ex I expected like a second phase. Sun orb. Wait, you killed him? That was yeah. pretty fast. You also need the moon orb in order to summon Solaris. I haven't fought the bosses. I've been fighting like the... Well, whatever it is. Well, how come I can't walk through from that way? Is it a circle on the map? I want to go in from over here. You know what? I'm going to TP out. Because I'm a little confused. Ask away. Ooh. Interesting armor, but it's a strength armor. I don't have enough strength, unfortunately. All right. None of y'all want to talk? I'm here. Oh no, that's I, I was talking to my NPCs. No, they don't like you. They don't want to talk. They don't have any quests for me. Alright, let's blow through the bathhouse and check out the next area. So I want to get... What was it? Through the ba bathhouse and... What is this area? Why am I here then? Did I screw up? Yo, how do you get to Lunaris? Do you go from Solaris Temple? Uh, did you hit the bridge? What bridge? It's like one of the bridge. It connects the two. No. Oh, what the fuck? Bathhouse. Past bathhouse, you'll get to a concourse. Okay, I guess I'm going to the bathhouse. This is confusing. I might have messed up. I think I'm fine though. Oh. Hector Titicus, Eternal Servant. I think I fought this guy. I remember fighting him before. It wasn't too big of a deal. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just gotta keep up with him. 
All right. So last time around, I got to the bathhouse, killed that guy, and then kind of never came back. Now it might be a good time for us to try and explore this area a little bit more. And I mean, I'm getting good EXP too. Like these packs are dying very quickly, so why not, right? Flipping currency is hard. Huh? Flipping currency is hard. Well, yeah. Just getting currency in general is hard. Do you find it's harder to get currency this league? Like, I feel poor this league. But you constantly pick up pennies. I, well, yeah. And yet, it's not doing anything for me. Have you seen uh, that video of, uh, who was it, baked, baked chicken, baked, baked, is his name baked chicken, one of a streamer, talk about Harbinger League in a nutshell, it was just him with a bunch of coins oh. on the ground and it was like, oh wow, I killed a Harbinger, oh, what's this, a penny, <laughs> what's this, another penny. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's a big one. That's that's a ancient orb, or or in uh, in 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 other words, a nickel. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. It's Harbinger in a nutshell. Well, it takes a while to load this area. What the hell? Hello? What's happening to my disconnected? I got DC too. It's been happening a lot today. Apparently, uh, yesterday, people got sent to the Void League. Awesome. Yeah. They got sent to the Negative Realm. Like, someone just logged on and was like, what the fuck, my character is a level 1 in, in the Void League. <laughs> Ridiculous. Seems buggy right now. <sighs> that feeling when the game was more stable in the first week or in the first two days than than the last two days. What the fuck? Game? Game? You okay? Did you break it again? Yeah, it disconnected me again. Okay, I'm gonna try and make a new instance. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it's Washington. Maybe. Guys. Time to roll back our items. Am I right? Let's try crafting. <laughs> is this how you? Is this how you roll back? New. Oh, thank you. Have you ever thought about what you would make as your second character? Are you going to make a second character? Not yet. I haven't thought about oh. it. Oh, this is the battlefront. Or no. Battlefront, right? Do you have 8 Chaos? Ebony Barracks. 8 Chaos. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. You want? Uh, we will take 80 jewelers for it. Sure. Okay, it's going in guild stash. Here's a chaos. Thank you. Yes, what is it? I hope this guy's online. Please tell me your staff. Skamast. 
Easy money. No, he sold it. Scum assed. Easy jewelers, look at that. He sold it, I'm so sad. Oh, yo. Blue ribbons look pretty cool. They do look better than red ribbons, I have to say. I'll give them that. They win the aesthetics feature. The next one's two more chaos. Will you take, uh, will you give me two more chaos fire. for 11 jewelers? <laughs> you can have two chaos. It's a bonus. Thank, thank you. Do you need more? It's in Gil Stash. No, I feel I'm, so poor. No, I'm getting skimmed. What's up? Yo, man, you gotta collect more of those uh, Reign of Chaos cards. Fuck, dude, he's AFK. <laughs> Are you trying to buy a six Killing socket me. or a five link or what? Six socket five link. You're trying to buy a six socket five link? Yeah. How much is it? Well, it was 24, and now it's 26. I see. Next one's 35. Fuck my life. That's expensive, dude. The fuck? What happened to you, Gr Gravisius? Who the fuck are you? It's cold, Gravisius. Nightbringer Lucius? What happened to you, bro? It's your twin. You changed, bro. Your cold twin. Alright, well, we beat him, but how weird. Search the Lunaris Temple for the Moon Orb. Okay. Let's do it up. I mean, I have an idea of where Lunaris should be. Probably, like... Oh, no, there it is. Got him. Lunaris level one. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, ribbons everywhere. The life. Oh no, I'm actually frozen. Are you serious? So are these guys all ice damage or what? Cold damage? Because the other area was all fire, but I see a lot of frost bolts being shot at me. Or ice spears, I'm not sure. It looks like an ice spear. Holy shit, what's happening? Uh oh. One sec, I'm getting cold. I need someone to buy my Valkyrie. Alright guys, unfortunately we might have a very short stream, 
Because my, uh... No. My fiance's coming over. Unless we get her to play this character, which is a little insane. She's not gonna do it. Uh... She might. She likes killing stuff. I don't know. I don't know if that's this is upper alley just yet. We're not at that point in our relationship. <laughs> Killing stuff together? No, playing each other's characters. <laughs> I don't know. I, I might have to cut this short, but if I do, we'll try and play some more tomorrow morning. Um, man, I really wanted to get through Act 9 today, though. Would have been nice. I need someone to do lab with. At the very least, let's try and kill Lunera. She says she's gonna be here in seven minutes. Boys, we have to rush. Like, do I care about these mobs? Like, fuck it. Let's just run. We're racing now. It's now officially a race. Fuck that ghost. Time to go. Ah! Where did Tosso Tanky? Go! Go! Waypoint! That looks like a good sign! Lunaris Temple Level 2! That also looks like a good sign! I, the, the boss is where Piety is at? That's so far away! Alright, go, go. We kind of know the general direction of how to traverse this area. I think. I mean, we've run Piety so many times at this point. Maybe it was a good thing that, you know, there was normal, cruel, and merciless. Because you, got to, you. You, you get to run it three times as much. Yeah, see? You should. You guys shouldn't be mad at GGG, you know, for taking this long to release Act 10. Because really, they were playing the long con. They were just trying to make you better for what's about to come. Trust the process. Okay, bolts. <laughs> Oh, where the fuck am I? Let's go this way. Come to me. Let us speak of death and desire. I mean, Katarina, I like you and all. But I have no time for your shit. We going? But where do I go? Seriously. I guess this Damn it, is the why is no way. one online? Yo, trade is really hard right now. Because PoE is like or PoE trade is a little like a little behind. Fuck. So you gotta get lucky. God damn it. Nobody's trading? No, someone wants to buy my Valkyrie, which is good. Oh okay. Fuck? Do we go towards the center or what? Maybe you don't go upstairs? Maybe I was mistaken after all? Let's go this way. Or maybe there are stairs, I'm just not, not looking at the right place. Oh, here we go. I'm at 39 chaos. Nice, nice. That's actually a lot of currency, dude. How much is an exalt right now? I have no idea. I wonder if it's like a lot. It could be, you know. Who are you? Lunaris Champion. That was pretty cool, whatever that attack was. It's like a weird forward dash that's not charge dash it's like a lunge attack holy shit rogue exile whoa this guy takes off his flag and then charges forward i didn't see that animation previously that was actually really cool I'm getting really good EXP though, so that's good.
Mmm. Look at that. Kill more magic mobs, get more EXP. So many dead people. Wow. Oh, Harbinger. Ah, I see, I would probes. skip this area, but I want pennies. I like pennies. Now you don't have what? Enough chromes. I see. Life is hard. Life is hard. That's why you gotta get all the pennies, man. I guess. I mean, there's no such thing as a chrome, sh chrome shard. True. So, I mean, you'd still be lacking in chromes. Time to go through all my vendors. <laughs> You're that desperate, huh? What colors are you trying Heck to get? Yeah, dude. Mostly blue, one red, one green. Blue, one red, one green. And what kind of armor is this? Or staff? It's a staff. So strength. Oh, and strength. Strong. Okay. That's not that bad. Oh, one sec. I'm getting a call. All right, boys. My fiance is outside and she's waiting, so we gotta we gotta go. We gotta leave her. We gotta kill Dusk, Harbinger of Lunaris. God, this guy's so much harder to kill. Why the hell? All right, I'm gonna do a full charge. Maybe we'll do more damage. I thought Dusk was easier. What? No, man. Solaris was so much easier. I'm, not up to that I'm gonna get yet. a golem, maybe that'll speed it up a little. You know why? It's because these ice arrows slow me down, so I can't do as much DPS. Uh, the black spots on the ground are also very hard to see. Oh, there's black spots on the ground? What the fuck? That would only slow me down. Okay, well. We did it. Moon orb, sun orb, take the moon and sun orbs to the harbor bridge over here. Alright boys, next episode we're going to try and work on that. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, soon, soon.